Hey guys, welcome back to Overwatch. I know it's been a little while, but the game has finally launched officially, and uh, we are going to go ahead and check things out, see what's changed, and uh, just sort of get into the groove of things now that we don't have to worry about beta weekends ending. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, let's, we're already uh, joining a game here. Looks like our team composition, we need a tank. Oh no, we don't. We don't need a tank. We don't need a healer. Um, so I'm going to go for someone who I have been practicing a little bit, but I'm not great with, um, Hanzo, because I like him a lot. He's cool because he can climb walls, which I am a big fan of. Um, no, no good spots here at the moment. Oh, here we go. Let's demonstrate. So you can climb really high. Um, but yeah, his uh, main moves, he's got a bow and arrow. Um, if you press shift, he'll pull out sort of a sonic arrow that puts out an echolocation type thing and gives you temporary radar on affected enemies. And then uh, also you've got this multi-arrow, which splits and ricochets, which is kind of cool, but uh, I am terrible with. I just do not know how I'm supposed to use it. I think you're supposed to, like, shoot it behind someone, and then it, like, multiplies, you know, from behind them, and, you know, like, boom, and now I just hit, like, four dudes in here, or maybe fire it into re in really tight uh, spaces, but generally I'm out in the open with Hanzo just because he's a sort of a duck and cover type of uh, sniper, or counter sniper even. Weird calling him a sniper without zoom, but, you know, Overwatch is kind of fun like that. So, got somebody up here. You gotta be kind of zen about playing with this guy just because you will get sniped a lot and also uh, he, he his kind of wind up time on his shots is pretty long. I was trying to get up there but just failed miserably. Can we uh... Nope. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that was good. Let's see if we can get a couple of kills here. You have to practice leading the shots just because the travel time is, is actually a thing, like something that you have to be conscious of. Uh, also, aim is really important with Hanzo. He's a uh, headshots only type of guy because of the, again, the slower uh, rate of fire. Man, that uh, Farah really is gunning for me there. Get out. Get out of town. Um. So yeah, we're just going to be staying behind with cover between us and enemies and just sort of uh, sneaking shots in between uh, side strafes. Alright, so objective A taken on my favorite map. Let's move on to objective B. So yeah, uh, for those that were wondering, there's about four maps in the rotation here, as far, from what I can tell, and uh, maybe five, and uh, <clears throat> they are... Uh, the two game modes that we saw before, which are kind of ca uh, capture the point and push the payload. Oh, come on, dude. You're supposed to be defending your, us. And you're, oh, God, you're the worst tank. All right. Um, so uh, it's the two game modes, and they are still a lot of fun. I know that a lot of people say there should be more variety, but honestly, to me, I have such a blast playing them that it's not even a big deal. All right, Bastion down. So like I said, it's kind of that duck and cover popping in and out of... Uh, popping in and out of visibility type gameplay that you want to do with Hanzo. Also, being able to climb walls is pretty funny. Uh, is this Roadhog just... Yeah, he's just gonna hide now. Come on, buddy. I know you can do that duck and cover moving, too. No? Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and skip having to push through there and try and get a beat on... Oh, I wanted to kill that Bastion. Was that, a uh, Widowmaker? Yes, of course. All right, so we're going to need to keep our eyes peeled for Widowmaker because one of our main roles as Hanzo is to take out people like Widowmaker and Bastion specifically because uh, a lot of these slower melee characters and stuff can't even get in there uh, without getting one shot. So we want to try and help them out a little bit so they don't have to deal with that BS. Um, I like this map a lot because there's multiple ways to get into every place. Some of the maps have these ridiculous choke points that you just get stuck behind and it's just a total grind trying to make progress. Uh, I feel like this map is a little better about that kind of stuff. Uh, we're going to use our ultimate here. With probably okay success? No, not a kill. Not even a kill. Uh, <laughs> well, we will continue just kind of trying to get some damage off here. Uh, this is pretty rough, though. Uh, yes, okay. Thought I was a goner there. This Lucio is a lifesaver. We're shooting at a bastion here. <laughs> Got him. And, uh, yeah, it's, so you don't always get to, you almost never get to see your shots hit people when you're playing uh, Hanzo, if you're doing it right, but that's okay because uh, it's still pretty satisfying to be able to one to two shot people when you can pull off the headshots. Oh, 
We are, uh, we got to be focusing this, I think. Let's get some health going. Oh, wow. Whose ultimate is this that's on me right now? I wonder, that gives so much bonus health. Oh, my God. Okay, so they're rolling two Bastions now. Um, we need to try and get an angle on the Bastions where they're both rooted, and we can use this ultimate we've got saved up. It's a great way to take out Bastions. It's almost impossible to uproot and move at the same time. So, yeah, if you were looking for tips on how to counter Bastion, I got them because I got a lot of problems, but I'm not going to let Bastion be one. Um, let's try and take shortcuts here. Move through here. Uh, if I was playing a character with like a double jump or flight, we could actually just go over on the left side and go straight to their base, into their base without them even seeing us here. But uh, alas, you'd, I, we would have to be the brother to be able to do this. Uh, Genji. Uh oh. There's some health back in here. We're gonna grab. Good enough for full health. And is this gonna be a good angle here? I think like right like this is gonna be a pretty okay angle hit them from. Yes, at least we got one kill this time. Oh, get away from me. Climb the wall. <laughs> I was gonna try and like scale the wall to make him lose track of me, but uh, that did not go quite as planned. What does it look like? <laughs> I'm just jumping up and down and playing the same spot. Oh well. <laughs> Next time we'll manage. I was trying to do that, except that was a much taller wall, so I thought he might lose track. Oh well. Uh, <clears throat> let's make sure we're using our specials, too. It can be easy to just play this guy like a straight sniper. But let's make sure our allies have the benefit of a little bit of infrared on occasion, and also that we're using this to the fullest ability, the multi-shot. Just because it can be quite effective, I've heard. Ooh, got that bastion. Uh, don't like you, Roadhog. You're just a pain in my butt. Alright, we're gonna move in here just a little bit. And we win! Hooray! So, uh, yeah, that was Hanzo. He's a lot of fun to play. I know not the best gameplay ever there for me, but I'm I'm trying. Um, we're going to be checking out a couple of other heroes, hopefully, uh, over the next few games. But uh, let's just check out really quick and see what kind of Bastion nonsense uh, earned this guy, quote-unquote, earned this guy the play of the game. Yeah, Bastion's really good. Ugh, whatever. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and give this to, man, I'm, I guess I'll give it to the Bastion, because honestly, I didn't even notice any of these guys, except for him, and he was not very effective. Okay, um, that's cool, we got some experience going, so we're level 14, uh, and, uh, <clears throat> hopefully we can get up to 15, get a loot crate soon, so I can show you guys opening those. Uh, in the meantime, I will catch you guys in a minute. Alright, so... This game, uh, I think I want to play some Roadhog. I haven't gotten a chance to really play him uh, on the show recently, and I don't know, it's a lot of fun to play as a tank that can actually dish out a good amount of punishment. Plus, I just love that hook so much. It's just like the best best gameplay mechanic ever. It, go, cro it literally crosses genres, you guys. People love the scorpion grab, the pudge hook, all that stuff. This guy is a big whiner. We already have a tank. It's me. And the support is preferred with uh, Roadhog, but to be perfectly honest, being able to heal yourself for 50% of your health every, like, 10 seconds, you don't strictly need a support, though it is quite nice to have one. So we, we'll probably be okay here without one as long as we can manage to get some decent hooks off. Alright. Um, this is a pretty cool map, although it's... Uh, well, it's a cool looking map, but it's actually one of my less, least favorites because of this. This choke is infuriating uh, to try and get through as the attacker. Now, we're defending, fortunately, but if you play as, like, Symmetra, which this happened to me today, and she just starts throwing turrets up on these corners here, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. I mean, you could play, you could, if you know they're there, you can, there's some, there's some clever trickery you can use to, like, counterplay around it, but... I don't like this. This is one choke. There is no alternate path through. These doors, they don't open. That's BS. I don't like that at all. I feel like that forces stupid, annoying play. Because uh, this also is not through, see? Just just noxious to me. Okay, so we got a Reinhardt right there. I'd like to get a hook off if somebody gets a little too daring like that, but he was able to juke it. Oh, dang it. Didn't quite get it off. Ha! Huh. Oh, that wasn't a kill? Really? Could have sworn that he was low enough on health that that should have gotten him. Ah, well. So, we're gonna just try and uh, land some, some nice hooks here. Come here, Reinhardt. You don't get to heal. Oh, there's a Bastion there that we're gonna go ahead and try and hook in two seconds. Hey, buddy. 
Nope. I do not deal with Bastions. Now we got a Widowmaker up there. I wonder if we can get close enough that we can actually get a hook off on her without dying. Probably not. Ooh. Those Discord orbs are no joke, you guys. That's Zenyatta, the, um, the floating sort of... Uh, guru uh, Buddhist monk type robot guy <laughs> sorry that's hard kind of hard to describe it's the Buddhist monk robot guy uh, he his e attack is those discord orbs and they like hugely increase the damage you take uh, which allows people to take you down pretty darn easily even when you're playing a character like Roadhog with 600 health uh, speak of the devil ah <laughs> killed him with the hook itself that's great <laughs> he must have had, like 5 HP what are you doing Bastion what what even was he did 80 damage to me like that was that was such a joke all right here comes a hanzo or sorry a genji i always get hanzo and genji mixed up uh, the name name wise probably because they both have like ninja names all right that was uh not the best life but now we have our ultimate and uh even though we don't have to really worry it seems about uh them actually pushing the objective uh, we can still zone them back from if they uh, try and push through this gap. In the meantime, though, I think our main thing is going to be trying to focus on grabbing onto their Bastion and also possibly their, uh, their oh gosh, what is his name? I used to call him Siegfried all the time, but I, I forget it constantly. You know, their big knight guy with the shield. Ooh. We gotta be careful. You heard that. That's an ultimate being used. Oh, that's his ultimate. Great. Get away from me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that was a close one. Alright. Uh, we're gonna try and take out... Oh, Reinhardt. That's his name. Sorry. Wow, they have two Reinhardts. That's um, really annoying. Alright, well, we're gonna bust them up with our ultimate here. Back off. I don't even agree with you. All right, uh, yeah, the Reinhardt's just super annoying when you have two shields to deal with and they have a cluster of enemies behind them, I guess. I'm not too concerned about just regular old Reinhardt because you can just kind of do this and abuse his inability to, to see really or turn around fast enough to defend himself. You can just kind of get in his face with any close range or melee character and Reinhardt starts panicking and falls apart a little bit. Uh, okay, I really want to kill this Tracer. Oh, cool. Oh, come on, that was my Zenyatta kill, you dick. <laughs> I want to see exactly what happened here. So he drops the shield for an instant. I grab Zenyatta. Yeah, and he catches me before Zenyatta even gets to me. That was uh, that was quite the save. I'm sure uh, I'm sure Zenyatta is thankful. <laughs> All right, so we're definitely going to be uh, winning this round. I think this is such a ridiculously unbalanced map. I feel kind of bad. Uh, wow, we are taking hits like nobody's business. Thank goodness we can self heal. I'm gonna try and sneak around back here and grab that bastion. Oh. I think he was like a cure a bit. No? Maybe somebody killed him already? I never quite know. It can be kind of frustrating with Roadhog. I never quite know where my where they're gonna land once you hook them. Sometimes if you move slightly, it will like get off center. Or so. I'm not exactly sure what's happening, but they'll, they'll appear like slightly behind you and stuff, which is really frustrating. I should mention though, one of the values of the hook, don't always save the hook for when they have um, like full health. You know, sometimes you, you, you see them at half health already dying and you don't want to throw it. Still do because it, it stuns them for like a second before you yank them back. And a lot of the time, that's all it takes for someone to be able to get kills. On someone like May, who has the ice block, it, it means a lot to your team and, to, you know, to the overall uh, decision on the game, uh, whether or not you're able to stun some of those harder-to-kill supports and defensive characters. Man, that guy, does he have the best aim or the worst aim? Is he trying to hit us there, or is he just trying to, you know, camp the, the, the spawn a little bit? He's just bad. Yeah, he's just bad. Uh, there's our buddy Bastion, who's also pretty bad. Here's our other Reinhardt. See, their Hanzo is decent. That's about it, though. Uh, live. No! Thought maybe I could use our inhaler and, uh, pull it off. I love just standing there and healing while somebody's attacking you. <laughs> just must be so obnoxious. Okay, um... Thinking on those Reinhardts, I mean, really, we just need to take them out first, I think, a little bit more, because they are causing us uh, no end of headaches. Also, they've managed to push the payload a little further forward than I'm happy with. Our Bastion, uh, 
Our Bastion needs to do some work here, because this is a, this is a beautiful choke area for defensive champions like him and uh, Torbjorn. Oh, okay. No, no. You know, I feel like they nerfed maybe. One of the things they might have changed was um, the right click ability on Roadhog here. It doesn't seem to actually be very effective. Also, we're killing this thing. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't actually seem to be as effective as it used to be. I feel like it used to be like a game changing, super possibly OP, like one shot kill. And now it doesn't seem to do much more than uh, like a third of their health, no matter if you hit them dead on or not. Well, maybe not, but then again, that was a Tracer, the weakest you know, weakest character in the entire game. Oh, come on, I totally, totally was in range. Oh, well, at least we don't have to get killed by a Bastion. That's way more frustrating. Yeah, the hook definitely has a maximum range that you need to keep in mind. You sort of learn it as you play a lot of Roadhog, but uh, it can be very, very annoying to line up a perfect hook, you know, run out and expose yourself to a Bastion or whatever, and then have it just whiff and you don't have time to get behind cover again. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Uh, you cannot hook infinitely far. We are going to take so many hits here. Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm not going to let you charge me. <laughs> Disruptor, always fun. Alright, um, we have an ultimate charged up here, but we don't really need to use it. Uh, we will, however, continue clearing out as many healers and uh, supporting characters as possible. Uh, who are they fighting? Genji over here? Man, he is just a huge pain to kill. Hello, Bastion. Oh, I I had him there. Oh, heal. Yes, okay. Isn't there a... No, no help back here. Alright, we need to try and grab somebody here. <laughs> Did he just run right off the edge? I mean, I of all people can't really judge him for it, but I'm gonna judge him for it because... Come on now. Uh, okay. We're gonna use our ultimate. Die, Tracer. Perhaps not. Well, that was a total waste. Should have waited to see if there's anyone actually over here. Lesson learned. Alright, well, hooks are more important. I actually, I'll be honest, I kind of hate Roadhog's ultimate. It's, it seems like trash most of the time. There's a couple maps where you can use it to knock people off the side of the map, but that's just so cheesy. I don't, couldn't give a damn. Nice, uh, nice job pinning me, but, uh, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna, ugh. Walk away, that's okay. Hey, this time I got to fall off the cliff. But it wasn't, uh, you know, I didn't die from it. I just died and fell off. It's a big difference, okay. Uh, where, okay, here we go. Disorienting going through those portals. Hmm. Metro is really good in this situation. <laughs> uh, if you can net manage to grab a tracer, they're just so like. <laughs> it's just I feel like it must be so disheartening as like such a mobile and freewheeling character to just get grabbed like that outright. I hope they did not see me there. Oh, now they did. Oh, tracer's coming for me. She's still mad probably. Uh, hey Bastion. Nope. Wow, he completely blocked my uh my hook. That was nice. It's like he had a sixth sen uh, sixth sense. Is that Tracer still just following behind me, or...? I mean, I think we've got this game, because they don't seem to... <laughs> Again! They don't seem to be able to make this final push, but still. Hey, Tracer, I saw you there. Alright, one... Come here. Nope. See, that's that range. Alright, so we're just gonna go up here and see if we if that Tracer's maybe thinking she's a sniper. You playing sniper, tra Tracer? No. Come here completely disrupt you. I love just freaking them out and keeping them from actually being able to push effectively. Oh, there's nobody there, but here, however. Wow! That Zenyatta heal combined with a complete whiff on the first shot cost me the kill. <laughs> Whoops. Hooray! Victory! Awesome! Well, guys, uh... That's going to do it for uh, our first episode of Overwatch as of the release. I believe this is episode four of the full series. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let's check out this play of the game really quick. Symmetra. Hmm. 
Just turret city? Yeah. These chokes. This is what I was talking about. Chokes with Symmetra are just insane. I'll have to I'll have to do a demo of her sometime later this week. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy, please be sure to like and subscribe and share with anyone else who might be interested. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Okay.